do 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 Time to get rolling. Guess I'm getting notifications because I'm live now. Good. Glad they're coming through. Yeah, that won't. Yeah, it doesn't matter that. Okay. Time for the heavy lifting part of the show. At least I'll be down here with you regardless, so I can. I'll have somebody to talk to, even if. Even if it's quiet on stream. Uh, okay. I guess I should have started the forge up sooner, huh? Fine, unless you want to sit on the steps. Because you might get cold if I'm doing that. So, you get this running. Get the forge up and hot. That's going to take a couple minutes. Yeah, maybe the stairs aren't bad if the chair fits. You want to throw those other spikes in that basket and get them the hell out of your way. Yeah, they're all junk. Those were all from the just hammering for the shits and giggles of it phase. You know what, I'm gonna switch to the third tank, I think, too. Yeah, that was low. Ooh. <laughs> That wouldn't have been a long stream. <laughs> ah. Makes such cool sounds. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'll screw this back on. Ready to rock and roll. It's a good thing this isn't hard to change. You know, this really doesn't take that long. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow early. Or Monday. Monday or Tuesday. Well, I think he has like a normal weekday schedule, so...
Bingo. Let's get it hot. And get the fan set up. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of fans down here for all different things. You know, maybe I should open the door too. <laughs> if you want to pump in fresh air, don't just recirculate the old stuff. <laughs> All that's doing is just creating a breeze. <sighs> oh, I, um, no, I have not, unfortunately. I apologize. Uh, Giannette, I have not thought about being vegan. Uh, not something that ever personally appealed to me. I apologize. Okay, there's my Twitch notification. All right, let me get a couple spikes. Do I have a couple here that are good? Grab a couple from over here. Do you want the apron? Did you hear me? Do you want the apron? Okay. As long as nobody gives me a hard time about not having the uh, safe part on there and not having you have an apron. Let me think, three? Yeah, we can do three. At least two. Uh, uh, my craft. Uh, hey, Wisdom, how are you? And uh, there you go. Uh, Junet, I am a, I'm a metal worker, um, normally. Um, today I am doing bottle openers. I hope that the, uh, the stream title has updated appropriately. Uh, but today I'm doing bottle openers out of rail spikes. They look something like this when they're finished. I usually spray paint them. Oh, Vantica, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it. I haven't seen you guys in a bit. You must be up a little late, so. Avantica says hello. They're one of my. And thank you also for the host, Sloffy. Uh, they're a couple of the people from out in Europe, so it's a little late for those guys, so I appreciate you guys hanging around, so I don't know if you guys have gotten to see, uh, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the follow, G and I appreciate it, um, yeah, we're, um, this is the first time you guys have gotten to see this, so this is going to be a little new for you guys, uh, you guys have mainly seen me banging on knives, uh, but, um, I've tried to branch out into a little bit of blacksmithing, um, because, you know, I, I, I like... Oh, and a new pup, too? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, it's only, you know, it's only 10 to 2. I mean, that's not too bad. What kind of, uh, what kind of dog? I don't think I actually know what kind of dog you had before. So, what was the old one, then? I did, the Franken-Anvil. I think I accidentally named it. Um, when he was making it, I said, you know, are you making a Franken-Anvil? He's like, what do you mean? Oh, a dachshund, oh, Jesus. Yeah, look at her. She loves those things. I think we've had this discussion, haven't we? About how they can be a terror. She thinks they're the greatest. Yeah, she thinks they're the greatest thing in the world. I think she's crazy. Um, I think they can be, um, I don't have the chat, actually, hold on, before you, before you post that, hang on a second, let me bring up my, uh, thing here, um, I'm definitely not a, uh, I, it should be, uh, I just want to bring it up on my phone so she can click the link, and 
As long as I can see it says connecting to my chat because God knows if it ever will. There we go. There's my chat. So I should be able to see it now. So I want to have the link on there in my, and uh, she can click any of the links that pop up. There we go. Look at that. Let's see if it goes there. <laughs> oh, the long haired too. Yeah, she likes the long haired dachshunds. I'm still not a fan. I'm not 100% sold on them. Uh, mostly because they can be buttheads. But, uh, you know. Oh, so the black, the black and tan long haired one is the five months. Okay. I love how my glove works my phone. Except for my button back here. here. Can you go back there so I can get back to my chat and stuff? Just hit the back arrow. Thank you. <laughs> I, I know, you're right. They, they are adorable. Don't get me wrong. They're cute. But that doesn't outweigh sometimes that they can be a handful. That's all I'm saying. So. But, um, but Geonet, since you're out there as well, since this is your first time checking out the chat, if you do have any questions, please let me know. Um, more than happy to answer any questions you might have about what I'm doing. Um, the wife's down here to help me do some uh, certain things here because some things need an extra hand. Uh, so I have her to help me with that kind of stuff. But this is going to be a very basic uh, project. She's going to help me drift a hole in the top of this thing which is going to be done uh, with a chisel. Uh, she is not knitting, she's crocheting. Uh, and she is crocheting, I guess it's going to be a blanket. So hold it up. That is what she's doing right now. It's a blue, not really, uh, it's, yeah, it's a blue. It's a little hard from back there to see it in the light, but uh, thank God for 1080p. So um, she, she crochets and that's, uh, she's adding another ring on it right now. I'll have her bring it up in a bit. Actually, she's going to have to set it down. Uh, no, uh, the crochet hook is long, but yeah, that's what you see. She's got a crochet hook with a um, with a longish uh, handle on it for comfort, so that's why it looks a little bit thicker. So, no, no, I hear you. It's just we've tried to, we've tried so many different crochet hooks, and some of them I know can be so small, and so often she's had. Um, you know, a lot of discomfort from using uncomfortable crochet hooks that are just, you know, so small and thin and spindly. Um, so I've tried to find her ones that are thicker and have a better, you know, give her a better handhold. So some of them look like knitting needles because they're so thick and they've gotten a lot of, you know, got a lot of thickness added onto them. what you guys come here for I know it you guys come here for the hammering a little bit more on this and I'll need you oh I probably was <laughs> um, yeah, so it's like a uh, it's like a medium blue. It's not even really much of a baby blue. The outside is uh, is kind of a I guess it's a mix of colors. It's a like a two color mix. I'll have her bring it up to the camera in a little bit, maybe when she switches colors or something. But uh, yeah, it looks it's gonna look way better up close. Well, maybe the way this camera works, who goddamn knows? My pink lemonade turns out like brown, so I don't know. I, I had to balance my colors so I don't look pink when I'm on camera. So I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say if it's gonna show up. Blue seem to be nice actually though, so I, I think it's just the pink and skin tones don't come up really good on this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more heat and then we're gonna uh, we'll punch it. So what I need to do first is give myself a reasonably flat P 
piece of material to work on on this. So that's what I'm doing first. Flattening out the tip of the spike and giving myself a flattish piece to work with here. So, uh, yeah, well this is the new apron, uh, actually. This is the Christmas present from my folks. Uh, I was a little surprised by this. I had no idea they were getting me this. Um, but I was very happy with it when I saw it. It's very big, very durable, very soft. Uh, I really like it. Um, so, uh, I really, it's very, very nice. So. Okay. Yeah, well, besides the orange, uh, this is a Flyers jersey, which is a local hockey, uh, local Philadelphia hockey team, which is hiding under here. Um, but uh, that's what the rest of the orange is. I didn't go with the kilt today. I got the new kilt. Uh, I have It's more of a khaki color. It's pretty nice. Uh, so I'll probably be wearing that on stream sooner or later as well. So although I don't know if I want to stick with just, I'll stick with my saffron kilt because this, the other kill that I have is actually almost the same color as this. This actually shows it pretty nice. Uh, yeah, my, they are a little flat the colors. This orange is a, is a very bright orange, so I think it's I think it's the uh, the saturation that's a little low. Uh, I bumped it up, but I just don't like the way I look on it. It just makes me look very pink. So, but if I bump the saturation up, it makes the oranges and pinks look a little bit better. So, I think I just desaturated it a little bit just so it, uh, you know. Just so it doesn't look, you know, I don't need to look cartoony in this shot. All right, you ready? Yeah. Over hole. That's cool. Yeah, it, I mean, I guess it takes time with anything like that. Um, I mean, I've always had cats, so I've never had uh, I've never had the you know that much like adapting problem with them. Um, no, I don't go traditional on camera because, well, again, you know, it, which is sad because I you know with what women get away with on on here, it's pretty amazing. We've had that discussion how they have like women body painting themselves with basically just pasties on and you know over the hole and yet uh yet somehow that's okay oh. over up oh. flip it Flip it. I'm just gonna go straight through. Fuck it. I should be able to find that now when it's flipped over. Um. Well, that's cool. I mean, as they, you know, they'll figure it out. You know, I, I guess whenever you get brought into something new like that, the instinct also kind of takes over. You have that like that protective state where you're, you know, but once they realize everybody's family, I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they loosen up and they'll have some fun. But only getting used to, you know, to having a cat. I, and I've only, well, when I grew up, I had a pair of cats, but one was the mother, one was the daughter. So they fought constantly anyway. Uh, but um, the last cat I had, you know, she was here by herself and she didn't care for anything else. Well, she is. Uh, I wouldn't do these if it wasn't for her, because um, I would have to have the okay with her, you know, with her doing this stuff, with me doing this stuff in the house. Otherwise, there'd be no point in trying to do this. Up. Oh. Okay, flip it. Over. Up. 
Come on, get out of here. Nope, nope. There's that little piece of metal you were talking about from before again. Yeah, it oh now it's it's punching out these little bits here. Into the scrap. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I gotta take it down to the circle. It's gotta get circle first or else I can't. I mean it, it's good that we we support each other with each of the things we do. Um I mean, I like the crochet that she does. Uh, unfortunately, things like the blankets and stuff like that, uh, I don't feel like the time is as worth it as it could be um, because however many hours she has to put into it is, you know, the unfortunate part is that, she, you know, it's so hard to get a return on that. send her back over to her chair for a while so I need her for three steps during this um well yeah I mean but it's just making a big blanket and how much time and hours go into it you know if you if you think about your time I guess is what I'm saying like how many hours she has to sit and work on a blanket as far as how much she can charge for it to, to physically like make up that money, I guess. I mean, if I work on a knife for five hours, you know, I think I, sh you know, like two days of straight going at it, right, but how many hours of that two days? I, I mean, for her, it takes a while because with her being in school and work and things like that, it takes a lot of time for her. But, you know, over the two days, if you just, well, I mean, over those two days, you know, if you put in 20 hours over two days, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, 20 hours of work, you know, you think about what's that, you know, what's that time worth to you? You know what I mean? That's, that's all I'm saying. It's just, that's the only thing I wish that, you know, I wish she could make, you know, make that return on her crochet that she deserves. And I wish that this chain would stay on the goddamn anvil better. starting to feel really stupid for wearing long sleeves down here again. I regret this every time I do it. And I think I'm going to fix the problem. Uh, the welding's going okay. Uh, well, no, it's just this chain. It's just this chain comes off um, every once in a while. That's all. I don't want to lock it in because I take it on and off, and I want to use it as a, as a handhold when my wife isn't down here to help me out, so... I'd rather have her to help me uh, when she can than me trying to do it with that. Actually, hold on, I gotta put the mic down for a moment. Put that on the reasonably clean part of the shelf. See if I can get this back on before I overheat my piece. This apron's a lot more work to take off and on. It's got like shoulder straps. Yeah, that might not be too bad an idea. It's just because it's got these big ass hooks on the on the uh, on the end of it. Oh, wow. So did the yarn change color, or did you just... Did the yarn change color itself, or was that, some, is that like part of the pattern? I know a little bit about this stuff. Not a lot. I feel like enough just to sound like an idiot when I talk about it. Well, I'm going to 
find out in a second. Uh, yeah, it did change color on its own. You what? Ah. Uh. Um, yeah, they really don't. But again, if I, the issue would be if I was doing this, having a padlock is just like an extra step. Oh, she said she wanted to try the corner to corner. She hasn't gotten to try that yet. I should put a mic over here by you. I took, uh, actually, do I have a mic? I know, I know this is probably great footage. What? Well, no, I'm just trying to find my audio box. I don't know where my audio box is. This isn't my audio box. Oh no, this is my audio box. You want a mic? I can mic you if you want. I got mics and cables if you want to get mic'd. Not wireless, but they'll hear you. So we're working the hole out a little bit bigger. Obviously, it's starting to get there. Um, I mean, she's. I mean, I'm sure she would know how. I just think she's probably never tried it. Um, if you give her a pattern, she can figure it out. So it's not a matter of her figuring out how. She just, like she said, she just hasn't tried it. So um, for more. Uh, like, right, you just, you would figure it out. Like, yeah, she just hasn't tried it, fit, like, actually tried to do a pattern with it. Uh, so it's, you know, like some of the stuff she has, she did that. I, I want to try to get her more into the amigurumi stuff because I know that's huge, that stuff. People love all that stuff. You've got that popsicle I pulled back on stream that one day. Uh, is the popsicle back here? What else is good hiding in here? No, I said, what else is good hiding in here? I said, well, but yeah, she's got, she's got the, the little popsicle amigurumi stuff. Um, most of the rest of it is upstairs, so. So, yeah, I mean, it goes quick. She just likes to do really crazy, elaborate patterns. Um, I don't think it really slows her down so much, but I think it's just the fact of how much time she has. Uh, I mean, she did. She started this blanket not long ago, and she got most of it done while I was out playing disc golf today with my buddy, so, you know. She can rock through a pattern. That's not the issue. Ah, shit. But, um, you know, again, for her, it's free time. You know, she works from 10.30 p.m. to 7.30 in the morning or whatever, some, some hours like that, 10.30 to 7, whatever the hell it would be. She works those hours, then she comes home, she goes to sleep. Several days a week, she goes to school promptly in the morning, you know, like 6 o'clock, so then she goes from school to work. So she's got maybe an hour to do it if she wants, so... So that's really the main, the main concern is just having, having that free time. I mean, it's very rare when she has a day to just sit here and do this. I mean, she's off uh, school, so she's not back in school till the twenty something or other. Yeah, so she won't be back in until then. And then, uh, once that's all, you know, once she's back there, she'll be back doing clinicals on the weekends, 
Um, she'll be back in school Tuesdays and Thursdays again, so hence why I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays, because she's gone. So it's like, well, I'm not bothering her, I'm not bothering anybody, I'm not ruining her sleep. So, you know, it, it works out for everybody, which is why I picked that day. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to need her help for two more parts. Uh, which one? Oh, oh, forge a C-clip. No, I didn't. Sorry, I got pushed up. Um, yeah, that might not be too bad. Something quick to get it on and off. But once I wrap it around, if I, if I do it right, I'm fine. Like, it won't go anywhere. It's just sometimes when I don't wrap it right and it's not tight, it's, you know, it's, it, gets, it gets a little sloppy. I mean, I have carabiners somewhere. I probably have, like, three of them across the room. Um, zip tie it. Uh, well, the problem, again, with the zip tie is if I have to keep taking it on and off. So that's the only worry with zip ties. Because I, I do have to take it on and off periodically. Actually, I think I have some, some carabiners over here. That might actually work if I can find them. Uh, my shop's a disaster. I'm glad you guys can't see this side of the shop. I don't have any down here. Oh, wait, I know where I got one. I got two, actually, and they're, they are not doing any good where they are. They are on this backpack. And they are doing zero good on there. Yahtzee. So, this should mostly keep it, I guess. We'll see if it wants to stay on there. Whoops, that got hot. Oh, hey, Craig, how are you, sir? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good holiday and all that stuff. We are, uh, we're doing bottle openers tonight. So, made a couple of these. I very much like them, and people say that they're very good and very functional. So instead of making knives that nobody ever is ever going to use out of the railroad spikes, making some bottle openers out of them. So let me hold one up for you in a moment here. So this is the finished product. Oh yeah, that's right, you were telling me about Doggo. So this is what the finished one's going to look like. Something similar to this, I hope. So, I'll try to make two, maybe three tonight. So we'll see how they go, and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, actually, you and uh, yeah, exactly. See, there you go. Everybody's getting new dogs. Everybody jumping into my stream's got a new dog. We didn't get a new dog, but I think the, I think it would be. Well, it's not going to happen either. I think with, with this basement being where it is, I think a dog is a bad idea. And I think with both of our schedules, I don't think it's a good idea. Because we just can't give a dog the time it deserves. And, and I feel terrible about that. I want a dog that I'm going to spend time with, and I want to spend time with my pet. And to not be able to would feel just like wronging the pet, and I, I don't want to do that.
Part Jack Russell, part Shih Tzu. Oh, Lord, Lord. That's crazy, crazy. I mean, that kind of fits you a little bit, Craig, to be, to be fair. Yeah. It's just, I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't feel fair to an animal with our busy schedules when she's out of the house as much as she is and sleeping. It just, <laughs> well, you, you've, gotta, you've gotta really want a Jack Russell because they are, sounds like a yappy combo. Well, yeah, that they could be. That's, that sounds like it's gonna be insane is what it's gonna be. That's just a bag of crazy. One straight, fresh up bundle of crazy, all in one little nice package. <laughs> all right, I think I'm about where I want this, I think. Yeah, I think it's about right. I'm gonna call on my wife in a moment here. She's gonna help me put the nub on this after I flatten the top. Yeah, I'll call, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna flatten the top on this heat, and then, uh, huh? Yeah, so I'm gonna heat it up this one time. I'm gonna squish the top. I'm just gonna double check the size, and then we'll do the nub, and then we'll do the logo, and uh, we'll be good. Then we'll do another one. Well, I'll heat treat it while it's out. While it's mostly hot, so I don't have to totally reheat it. So. <laughs> they, <laughs> they will bark at anything. Those little guys can jump too, man. That impresses the hell out of me watching a Jack Russell jump. Just how much air those little guys can get. Two more heats. Gotta reheat this one. You need the, you need to buy like a six foot privacy fence around your house if you get a Jack Russell. Anything less than a six foot privacy fence, those suckers are jumping over that shit. They're going up and over. Get one of those little cyclone fences, and gone. The dog is out of here. I'll have you bring that up to the camera too, so you can show it off a little bit. My friend said, actually, he, I gave one of my buddies one of these, and he said it's one of the best bottle openers he's ever used, so. I like that thought. I like the fact that it's working for him. Looks good, perfect. Okay, flatten it out. Okay, here's the heat where we start hammering some extra things in and we'll be good. So now I need to call on the wife again. Grab your gloves, cause the tongs are hot. Not scorching hot, but enough that you'll feel it. So this is the part where we put the little tab in here. So that little tab, I hammer it from the back here on this side. We hammer, I'll hammer it down and hammer the metal and push it out to give us a tab. 
But again, it's something that I can't really do by holding the thing at the same time, um, unless I use the chain, which isn't really perfect or ideal, but you can drape the chain over, stomp on the chain, and it kind of holds it, which might work for this step, but some of the other steps, it's really, it's so much more time consuming and a hell of a lot easier if you just have somebody else help you, so. Back, 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 right there. Come on, sit right there. And there we go, just like that, we get the little little bottle opening nub right there. So I'm gonna put this back in. Actually, I can probably straighten it right now. Get it nice and straight. All right, and now we're gonna put it back in. I'm gonna do my logo on there. Oh, <laughs> and now Craig's on Facebook. So I do like the multi-streaming. Um, I think this is really cool uh, because people can comment and comment across platforms and can talk across the platforms, which is really a lot of fun. Uh, so I do really dig that, and that is one of the reasons I wanted to start multi-streaming. Uh, it, does, it does really give me that awesome bonus of being able to do that, and I really love it. But you, couldn't, you usually can drop a link in there, Craig, so I don't think it should have a problem. I don't really have heavy moderation on, so have fun and give it a shot. Uh, if you are out there, if you're also out there watching, please feel free to say hello. Uh, if you're wondering what the hell is going on, feel free to ask any questions you may have, uh, especially if you're new to the chat and you haven't said anything yet. Uh, I do love getting to hear from all of my viewers, so please ask away or let me know what's going on. So, <laughs> Well, this is fun because you can watch and you can see a project come from beginning to end without me doing it for days. Uh, so I am kind of enjoying this, and I, I'm really liking the blacksmith stuff. Uh, I like being able to give people a project they can watch from start to finish. Hold that. Don't put it down yet. Okay, set her down. And that's the part where I put my logo into it. So there we go. I got my little In Your Head logo on there. Uh, there's no way I can even bother trying to show that to you guys. But it does. it is there, I promise. This is the part where I try to flatten everything without hitting the logo. And now for the heat treat. Uh, I'm going to cool this off a little bit because the core of this thing is way too hot right now. Um, and I don't want to heat treat the entire thing um, because then I get a big fireball, blah, blah, blah. Nobody wants big fireball. Well, actually, everybody wants big fireball. But I really only want to heat treat the end of this. I oh, to hell with it. Let's just do it. Um, yes, I actually did. Um, I made the maker mark myself. Let me see if I can bring it up to the camera here. Uh, if I can get light on it somehow. This is very hard to do. But it is the In Your Head logo, if you can see it. It's there. Uh, it's a little head. I kind of ground it out of some tool steel, rehardened it. And uh, it does work. It's just a little thick for a maker's mark. So it does have some issues as far as punching a solid mark. Um, but yeah, it's something I... Uh, I cut out all myself. It does look pretty good. It's pretty close to the logo. Um, basically, I I made the logo, printed it on paper, printed it really small, and cut it out so I had something to work on. I glued it on the front of it, and then just kind of shaped it up and all that stuff. So, um, so it worked <laughs> somehow. <clears throat> Trying to get the tip of this nice and hot for the quenchy. Let me move this over a little bit. You guys will see the nice little fireball there. All 
All right, that looks good. It's not like it really hardens that much, but... There we go. Look at that. I got it under there real quick. Ooh, nice cloud of smoke. See, now this is the absolute wrong time to lift this up because all of that oil vapor is what will burn. So for anybody who... Um, for anybody who would... Um, lift up that this like for anybody who's wondering if i would have pulled this rail spike out while that cloud was there that vapor is what would have lit up and that would have been not good that's how you get rid of arm eyebrow facial any hair you really want to get rid of really And there we go, one quenched and hardened. Actually, the logo came out really nice. I gave it a good whack. It came out actually very good. So uh, I'll see if I can bring this over into the camera. Um, yeah, I got some paper towels here. I'm gonna try to wipe some of this oil off. I think it's cool-ish. I'm gonna see if I can bring this over so you guys can see it. So maybe see the logo there. I can get the light. It's kind of in there. You can see the head. When you look at it close, it's there. But <laughs> but it is there. So I'm going to hang this up for now to clean up and dry and finish and all that later because I'm going to put some paint on it. I'm going to cool these off. Even though I should stop doing that in there because otherwise they get oil into the water and blah 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 and that's a bloody mess uh craig if you want to share a picture i think you should be able to share it in the ch oh wait no it should be if you share it in the comments it should show up i think maybe i don't know i didn't because i didn't see anything come up in the chat here on the video so i don't know what's going on i'm pretty clueless number two here we go we'll do number two going into the fire sizzle these bitches a little bit so so yeah um, but I'm glad the restreaming is working uh, I don't know if it's working on YouTube right now it may be I don't know Nah, don't worry about it a lot of it I mean it, it doesn't my viewer count isn't right I don't know how to track it it seems to not work half the time hey Daniel how are you Welcome to the restream, and we are streaming some um, some bottle opener magic today. So we are creating bottle openers. Uh, I have a couple orders already. I'm cutting out a bit. Uh, I have zero dropped frames, so I don't have anything on this end. I'm looking clean at 60 FPS. So might be you. If you were streaming it in two places, that might be what it was. Yeah, if you had the Facebook stuff up, it can tend to do that. If you brought it up in Facebook and Twitch, uh, that can jack some stuff up. Uh, but, yeah, I got zero drop frames. People complain about, like, Comcast and its internet connections and stuff, and they're like, oh, Comcast this and Comcast that. I'm like, I can't complain about that part because it's really good. Like, you know, I've had almost every stream I do, I don't have any dropped frames. Oh, there we go. See? YouTube's working as well. So, cool. I'm just glad it's all working. That's all. It's hard for me to check it because if I check it down here, then my signal goes to shit. Um, the computer won't handle me trying to stream two things. It's just the OBS. The OBS has a coronary, so. But I'm glad it's working. But I, I like how the, this is what I mean, how the chat can pop between the three and everybody can interact. So if somebody says something, it doesn't leave them out just because they're only able to watch on YouTube. Um, so I, I really like that fact. And that's, uh, that's kind of why I got rid of my affiliate status on Twitch. I mean, the makers section isn't very big. So I just felt like it wasn't going to grow very much for me. So I wanted, to, I wanted to really try to expand. And, you know, any little bit that I can to help is what I'm going to go with. I'll fi maybe find some other outlets soon and see what happens. 
but a minute, huh? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm okay with it. Uh, I think YouTube has issues. I think the thing with YouTube is um, you have to really kick the latency down. Uh, that was the issue I had with the settings in the restreamer. You have to knock your latency really, really far down. And uh, I think that's, that, that's what happens with YouTube. So, I mean, I'm okay as long as it's getting out there. That's all. I mean, people can still respond in almost live time. You know, it, it's, it's still better than not being able to, to talk to the streamer. I think that's a great part of this whole thing. Um, that's the beauty of, of being able to stream is, you know, is getting to talk to the person you're watching and getting to interact. And I, I think that's a lot of fun. Some people don't like to. Some people like to just lurk. And that's cool, but being able to interact and talk with people that are streaming and you can interact and have fun with that person, I think that makes the whole thing. I'm gonna be hopefully updating my, uh, my YouTube channel video soon. Um, I got a friend of mine who likes to make videos and he's going to help me kind of update it so it's a little bit newer um, and so it's blacksmith oriented at some point so ooh, what's that? got a lot of slag up on that one <clears throat> that's why I wear safety glasses folks um, but uh, hopefully I'll have that changed up soon so it'll more closely match the way the channel's going Yeah, well, it used to be bad. <laughs> See, this is the just chatting section now. Everybody's just chatting about their dogs. I, I would love to. Yeah, safe. The sa every you got to have your safety contacts in, folks. Don't start streaming without... Don't start working in the shop without your safety contacts. I did see that in a video, which was pretty funny. Like, a guy was, was working and doing something, and... Uh, you know, one of the comments in the video was great because he was like, oh, yeah, don't forget your safety contacts. And, you know, because you, obviously the guy was doing something he should have been wearing safety glasses for. Um, and he was not. And it was, I mean, it was pretty funny. I wish I was funny enough to make those memorable YouTube comments. I think my favorite, my wife knows my favorite YouTube comment of all. Um, there was a video, uh, a series of videos that, uh, yeah, exactly. I probably, that is me most of the time. Oh, these are getting too hot. I'm burning the table. Um, but um, my favorite comment of all time, there was this channel which was called Doing Everything. And <laughs> thanks, Craig. He, uh, he had this com. Well, I wish I was this hilarious. The com. The video was how to touch an apple to a wall, and it was just basically like a two-second video of a hand, like looking from here where I am, like looking back at my hand, and then just doop touching a green apple onto a wall. And that was the whole video, shot from like right here, just from a selfie cam. And the funniest part about it was the the top comment on YouTube was basically instructions unclear I got my dick caught in the ceiling fan and I thought it was one of the funniest comments and it really was I it was just hilarious because it's I don't know so impromptu and well, I mean I like vulgar vulgar is always funny to me because I'm a child whatever all right babe I'm gonna need you in a minute next heat I think we're gonna drive this thing through Yeah, Craig, many people have asked me why I don't go on stage, why I didn't go on stage, and why I didn't do comedy, and I have lots of reasons for that, but... Okay, let's, let's see Pooch picture here. Let's see if I can bring it up. My wife forgot to bring me back to Twitch here. Oh, no, I can't see it. Oh, well, <laughs> Craig sent me the picture on Messenger. There's, there's Craig's puppy. Did you sh You gotta share that picture. Craig, 
Because that's funny. That's a great picture. You could sell that. What reminds you of Doc Brown? How horribly unsafe I am in here and how crazy I am? Or which part? <laughs> Or how my shop looks like his uh, 1980s or 1880s workshop. Over. Up. Come on, damn it. Fuck. Thank <laughs> God for mild steel, huh? Dry him out right quick. That's what I meant by you're good. You're good. <laughs> they're always cute when they're young and grow up together. I think that's always awesome for dogs when they can grow up together and they can really bond together. I think that's really a lot of fun. They get such a cool bond that you just can't, you know, you just can't replicate. Oh man, 10 weeks. Ooh. I was going to say, uh, well, when you're done with your loop, when you, whenever you change colors. I don't know how to change colors. Oh. Okay, never mind. I was going to say if it was easier to bring it up and show. Huh? Right. So I drove the chisel in a little off center. So now I have to work one side of this more than the other to stretch it more on that one side. This one's gonna look a little weird, but we'll make it happen. Cats can be cats can be very very defensive. They will they will rough up anything in their turf. I love seeing a video of there was one video I think what Aussie Aussie guy did it 
and it was like this cat that was just trying to get its, or this dog trying to get its toy, and the cat's just sitting there, like near the toy, and the dog's like, I want my toy, but the cat's over there, and I don't want to get it, and it's like freaking out just because the cat's sitting there. Like, they put anything else in the house in line. They love to, they make sure of that, that that stuff, that any other animal in the house falls in line. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I thought the, <laughs> I thought it's usually the other way around. Usually the cats mess with the dogs. Uh, well, yeah, but Dachshund, though, so there's that. This thing's really wonky. Oh, good lord, this is ugly. What did I do to this thing? We're gonna make this thing round come hell or high water. I do miss my cat. She was, uh, she hated children. That was the weird thing about my cat. She absolutely hated children. Um, like if anybody brought a kid over, that kid didn't have to do anything. And the cat was having none of it. Wanted nothing to do with that kid. <laughs> so that was, that was always a weird thing. But I had a video game that I used to play. I think it's called Red Remover. It's like this, old flash game and you're supposed to get these boxes off the screen or whatever you have to get these red boxes and shapes off the screen and every time you complete a level it's like this cheer you hear this yay it's like a bunch of kids cheering but every time the cat heard that she would growl and run to the window or something and look for the kids no kid it was the weirdest thing man I'd, I'd ever seen she would just she hated kids that much she couldn't even hear them and the funny thing is she, we never she was never really like abused by kids or anything like that it's not like you know, it's not like, oh, my little my little nephew would mess with her all the time. No, there's nothing. Nothing of the sort. And that cat wanted no part of any child that ever came anywhere near this house. So. starting to get a circle. It's kind of roundish. Let me put it over here in the dark. So you can see that there. Okay, well, I'll see you in a bit, Craig. I'll be here for a little while. Come back in. Come on back. It's always good having you around, man. really weird how my cat was so my cat and she would she would verify this 100% how my cat loved me to death didn't not like her the cat loved her just as well but if I came home anywhere I came from whatever I was doing that cat came to me and you can see it on my old stream well you can't see it on my old streams because they're not on here anymore but when I used to stream video games and I would have the cat she would just be in my lap I'd stream and she'd just be there. Most of the stream, I usually just put the camera down like in my lap area just to see the, so people could see the cat. Cause I think that was way more cool than me. So I just don't know why she never liked any, any kid visitors. I mean, we don't have kids, so it's not like she, you know, had kids to get used to, to see how she would take any other kids, but just anybody brought a kid over and the cat growled and hissed at them. Even my son for the longest time. When he would come by, same thing. The cat wanted nothing to do with him. Even as he started to get older, she still wanted nothing to do with him. Never quite figured that out. Maybe I should have tried out my new hammer today, huh?
bought a new two and a half pound hammer yesterday that uh, that I want to test out. I want to grind the head round so I get a round hammer head. Um, rounding heads can move metal a little bit faster, so that would be fun. <clears throat> It's weird though. It was when she was a kitten. She was always she was no problems when she was a kitten. When she was a kitten, we had um, my sister had her graduation party from college, and we had it at my parents' house, and we still had the cat at my parents' house before we got our apartment. And she was fine with all the people, the kids, everything. She had no issues that whole time. And suddenly, out of nowhere, you know, she just got this dislike of children. I, I don't know where it came from. An adult came over she was fine she wasn't usually like she wasn't terribly sociable after a while but again that was probably the fact that we kind of kept her indoors I don't want to and that was part of the issue why I felt bad because we weren't home enough we didn't have a lot of interaction for her and, and I, I always felt kind of bad about that because you know I wish I gave her you know more social interaction but I really didn't want to let her outside not around here uh, there's a busy intersection right at the corner by my house and I didn't want anything to happen to her, so, you know, just protecting her. <clears throat> but if you are out there watching the video, uh, please do feel free. Drop a line in the chat. Say hello. Let me know where you're from. Any of that good stuff. Let me know what's going on. I love getting to meet and chat with all the people that are out here. So, as you can see, we're just chatting away in here. So, please drop a line. Let us know what's going on. Well, yeah, if you want to protect them, they kind of do. I mean, our, we kept our, we used to keep our windows open all the time, so she had plenty of windows, um, so she could always keep an eye on the neighborhood. That's how she knew. It. She, my wife hated it if I went outside, like was talking to a friend, maybe I was walking my friend to my car. She'd go right to a window and just sit in the window and meow until I came back in. So it would drive my wife fucking nuts because the cat would just run to the window and meow until I came back inside. So it's like... It's like, get your ass back in the house. I'm tired of listening to the cat. So, yeah, that was just kind of her thing. She was just attached to me. She was a sweetheart, though. She really was. She was a sweetheart. Just, unfortunately, didn't get much of a chance to have, you know, social interaction. You're probably right, but if I don't talk, it's not much of an interesting time down here, so. I mean, unless you guys just want to watch the anvil and listen to the forge. I mean, it's a cool noise. <laughs> well, I've just seen so many streamers that don't talk, too, and it's like, you know. I'm more than happy to talk with anybody. I mean, hell, drop a line. Let me know what's going on if people are out there. I love getting to talk with you guys. I love getting to talk with everybody, so that's why I say, I tell people, drop a line. Say hello, something. Help me out. Like I said, otherwise I'm just a crazy guy talking to himself in his basement. Nobody wants that. Especially not my wife. She doesn't want to see me get sectioned.
probably this new apron. It probably got hooked underneath and I didn't feel it. Then all I had to do was twist up and it pulled it. So that's a possibility. Could be anything. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get used to this new apron um, because it's got like a big strap on the back which gets all hooked in. And uh, you know, the issue with it is that it's a little harder and you know, to take off, but it, it does fit really good. And it's got a shitload of pockets. Uh, the new belts are amazing. Um, I mean, any new belt's gonna be better than what I had. Um, so I started getting some work done on the sheep's foot knife that I have, uh, that I was working on. So I started profiling that. Um, probably Tuesday, I'm gonna grind it some more. Uh, and then I'm gonna be hammering on Thursday. So I wanna try to go back and forth. So I'm probably not gonna just grind a knife all the way through to completion anymore uh, because I do need to keep hammering in some respects uh, or else I'm just running out of arm and I, I feel like I, I start to get really weak. So I need to, I need to kind of mix it up and hammer one day a week and grind one day a week. So I think that, yeah, see, that's what I'm doing. I'm definitely getting this on the other side of this. I need to maybe put this behind me. All right, there we go. That's wide enough. I think I'm pretty happy with that shape. I'm gonna flatten it and then one more heat and we will start stamping it and such. Uh, but yeah, new belts are amazing. Um, I mean, just it, the new 36s are really good. The ceramic belts are just amazing. Um, they, they do take a lot of material off and um, they're definitely like really pushing me to get that grinder goal completed. So I know probably Monday and Tuesday I'm going to be doing some lift driving, you know, make that extra cash, get closer to the grinder goal. Um, I, I really want to make it a reality because I know it's going to make such a better product. Um, so everybody who's watching will get to see something better. Um, which is going to be just, you know, it's going to be good for everybody. So. so there we go. We got a roundish thing with the flattish thing on it. Perfect. Let me test it on the bottle of testing. Might be too big, actually. I gotta flatten it a little bit more. Woo. Huh? Um, yeah, one second. Um, I mean, I, I have pockets on the other one. There's pockets down, there's pockets down here and there's pocket right here. But, I mean, it, it scale happens, leather. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't even realize that was you, Wisdom. Thank you for jumping in. Um, but yeah, it's, um, I, I, I've never had much of an issue with it. That's got plenty of, it's got pockets, but they're like they're low, and then it's got one high one. This one's just got some good spaces, like I can put a pen here and things like that. So I don't have a lot of problem with slag. I mean, scale is always an issue, but any little pieces of scale aren't gonna do any issue, aren't gonna really do any damage to. Uh, an apron. There we go. That's a little shorter. Nice and glowy. Yeah, I, I feel bad. You know, I, you don't want to let a cat outside. And I know they love to be out there and they love to be in that wild. But at the same time, it's there's so many dangers out there, especially here. We've had deer in my backyard, which scared the hell out of the cat. Uh, yeah, you want to show it off? Let's give me the bag. So, you can bring it closer. Yeah, bring it closer over the anvil. So, that's that's where she's at right now on the blanket. You can see the multicolored blue on the outside and the lighter blue on the middle. Uh, there's gray between the white and blue. Uh, my super hot lights aren't really letting that happen, but there is gray in between there. You'd have to bring it back to really show that because it's too hot where it is now. So yeah, but you can see the gray in between. So it's a nice start, it's a cool pattern. And then whenever she's done, she's gonna come and put some gloves on and... <laughs> well, thick yarn's nice because it does get the pattern done quick, but I also like the, um, 
you know, when you have a thinner yarn, you can do more detail. And some patterns call for a certain thickness of yarn. All right, we'll do the, uh, the nub first. Sorry, I had to get it out of there. It was getting too hot, so. It's, it's a nice pattern. Um, I, I, she's got so many patterns upstairs, it feels like she never does the same thing twice. Um, you know, our popsicle, the, the popsicle's hanging around back here. He's holding my phone up right now. But we got our little popsicle friend back here. There's a, uh, there's a um, Bulbasaur and a Squirtle upstairs too that she made, little, little guys, which actually go inside a little crocheted Pokeball, which is awesome if you ask me. It's from the back, right? Okay, all right. Shit, keep it off the anvil. Okay. shape I, tr I do try to center it and make it look somewhat even I know it's handmade uh, but I do try to center it and make it look pretty even on it so now we're gonna do the logo this is also gonna be on the back try to keep these cool for you so I don't roast your ass Yeah, because I keep it cool. You would feel it if these got hot. If you grabbed right here, you'll feel it. Promise. <laughs> I'm trying not to make you do that. So these are fun. I mean, now it's been an hour and 20 minutes. Once I punch my, my mark into this one, um, I'm going to heat treat it, and that'll be two. So I like the, the turnaround of this. <laughs> Uh oh, was that it? Was that a baby again? We get weird. We get weird things from them. Yep. We get weird things in the in the chat when their baby gets near the keyboard. Ready? Yep. Okay. Sit her down. Get back. There's the logo, fucking big time logo on there. Cool. All right, your services are no longer required. That logo is ugly as sin. Would you please, yeah. Cats love doing that. That's why I always have to wonder whether it's the baby got the keyboard or the cat got the keyboard. Especially if it's a laptop. Cats love laptops. They're so nice and toasty. They love laying on those bad boys. can't really, you know, my cat can't lay on my PC. Well, I don't have a cat anymore, but. Right, exactly. They love they love that heat, that warmth of the laptop. They can just sit there. It's nice and flat. They love that. Oh, yeah, that's right. The nice lighted keyboard. All glowy. All right, quenchy, quenchy time. 
Hey, Craig's back. Here we go, quenchy quenchy time. Um, well, this is the second one. I'm probably gonna make one more. Uh, mostly because my I don't want to keep my wife down here forever. But as long as she can tolerate this, and we're cranking out at this speed. That's two done in an hour and twenty. So I'm averaging about forty minutes a piece. So. Um, if I can average that time, I'm going to keep cranking them out. Maybe four if I can go that far. Oops, still hot. Get down there. Nice hardened steel. So it's good. It keeps the end hard so that it doesn't wear out. That's why I want to, that's why I'm quenching these. I don't want it mild. <laughs> Wife went up for refreshments. Maybe I should just put the mic pack in one of these pockets instead of clipping it on my belt. Number two, letting that cool off. Still hot, still very hot. Get the tongs cool. Cool. Number three. Oh yeah, listen to that fat fry. Well, I hear you, Craig. You just got to let me know how that revolution's going to happen. I'm down with you. However you, whatever you plan on, I, I, I mean, to be fair, whatever you're planning is slightly terrifying, but whatever you need, whatever you need, brother, you let me know what's going to happen, and the Craig Haas revolution can, I, I will try to, to do my part to make the Craig Haas podcast happen. How's that? That's the best I can really offer, to be fair. So. I'll be more than happy to plug it for you on here. Don't worry about that. I'll plug it for you. I'll let people know that, you know, my buddy has a show. Just make that baby happen. Uh, let me see it out here. Let's, let's see cats. Oh, fuzzy. <laughs> How'd my wife go for this drink? I wonder where you went. I thought you went to Wawa to get it. Huh? That's all you got. What, one tea? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's fine. We'll kill it. I shouldn't drink much more than that. <laughs> Good, I'm gonna grab a drink right quick. <laughs> yep, two's hanging up. I don't know why I have the trash can lid. harder to do than it looks I'm trying to smash this crap flat yeah this mic packs driving me crazy I think I got to figure out how to how to put this thing in one of these pockets 
because on my belt, this strap is hitting it and it's driving me crazy. Yeah, just drop it on the back pocket. That'll keep it, yeah, there you go. Now we're good. All cats are beautiful. They're all awesome creatures. Yeah, I did do a little addition here. I, I, I started putting workout gloves under my regular gloves and now my gloves don't slip as much. So I'm not getting blisters and stuff on my hands. So in case you're curious about why I have those extra gloves on. crocheting away so as long as you're good I've only been down here for an hour and 27 so I'm making good time pretty proud Hmm? Well, hey, it's the I went into just chatting, so that's what happens. I'm cool with that. I want people chatting in my channel, man. I don't. I love it. I, I love, you know, people want to talk about something, whether it's pets or whatever. It's awesome. I love it. You know, now my stream's not quiet. It's cool. I love it. I, I love the interaction between, you know, between viewers. I think that's awesome. That's such a cool part of, of doing this. I, I love, you know, I love when they talk to me, but it's also awesome when they're talking to each other. So... All right, uh, it's going to be drifting time in a moment, so I think probably I'm ready to, so yeah. <laughs> He's a cloud. Yeah, he kind of is. Cloud cat. Trying to keep my tongs cool so I don't burn my wife. Cool, Slofi gave us his phone number. Just go right over the hole. Pockets are good. <laughs> what? Don't worry about it. I want to fix it first. 
I'm proud. I don't know how I'm even going to grind that thing. I, I don't know if I want to grind it on the, uh, with the with the wheel or grind it on that. I might grind it on that. I'll see. You know, it's funny, it's talking about cats and heat. When we got our cat, my wife never knew what happened when a cat goes into heat. She, uh, she never got to experience that magic. So the first time our cat went into heat, over. She thought she was like all kinds of messed up. really being a pain in the ass. Nope. Huh? Awesome. Okay, so we have a little side thing we got to do here. My chisel is losing its heat treat. Um, may never have been heat treated. So we're going to heat treat this bitch. So I've got to uh, heat this up, hammer it back to shape. Apparently it's not hard enough to do what I'm doing. I got it. Just a little bouncy because it's not really uh, Good flat thing. It'll be fine. Well, I, I need to hammer it once more. the tip of this thing. That baby's really going crazy. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. Keeps my chat busy. Maybe there's something in the algorithm that makes it look better for Twitch. I don't know. Yeah, just don't teach them to use emojis. Good. <laughs> they like those bright, glowy lights, man. What can you do? I need to completely cool this because otherwise I can't hold it. Damn, that's bright as fuck. Over, 
flip. Over. Oh. Heads up. Let go. Thank you. I might need you one more time. If I jack that up. Uh, no, hey, Slopey, thank you for hanging in, guys. Really, I appreciate it. Um, but uh, I'll definitely see you guys soon, I hope. Um, probably Tuesday. I'll be streaming, maybe Monday, since I won't be working. So I may do streams on both days. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Have a good night, guys. And take care. I'll see you real soon. Indeed, guys, you too. Have a good New Year. I don't know when, as far as the time, when it happens with you guys, whether it's going to be before or, before or after ours. I, I don't know. I'm bad with time zones and all that crap, but I think you guys are slightly ahead of us. So you guys will enjoy the New Year before us. I might be streaming down here to bring in the New Year, to be honest with you, because we're not going anywhere. We don't have anything going on, so. I might do a celebratory New Year stream, so. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm never sure... Because it's like Australia is like ahead of us, which is to my, which is to our west, but California is to my west and they're behind me. I don't know. I'm confused. Whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, I forget where the time, where the day line is though. That's what always confuses me. Where that Greenwich mean time date thing is. I don't know what that does. So I've never, <laughs> that'd be fun. I should do a little New Year's Eve stream, get some people to pop on watch. Maybe I can get my buddy over. Well, maybe I can get my buddy over. He said we were going to do a stream where every bottle we made, he'd, every bottle opener we'd made, he'd open a bottle with it and drink it, so. That might be a good New Year's Eve idea. Lot of material on this one. Come on, get wide. Huh? No, just in general. It's gonna be a nightmare knocking it flat. Yeah, if I was going to do that, I mean, my buddy might be able, if he's going to be opening the bottles and drinking them, I think that's better because I'm swinging the hammer. So I think that would be a, a bad idea if I decided to, you know, if I was the one drinking and hammering. Pretty sure there's a blacksmith thing about don't drink and hammer. Don't hammer hammered. That's a good one. There's a freebie right there for the blacksmith union. There we go. Now she's starting to move. Okay. I 
I'm definitely buying myself a new anvil cone for making these, which would basically go into the hardy hole on the top of this thing and would let me hammer in a much better angle. So that'll be uh, something to look forward to soon. A little bit of that Christmas cash. Have a good night, guys. Craig, you're out of here too. Or no. Oh, okay. You got to go too. All right, everybody. Yes, and they all say good night as well. So, <laughs> I forget where the camera is. So, you guys have a good night. Everybody, take care of yourselves. Keep those notifications on. Well, Tuesday is New Year's Eve, right? That's my regular streaming day, so I might as well just fucking stream into the new year. Why not? What's it gonna hurt? Ugh. That'd be really nice having this cone up here because I can hammer like this and spin it around and the scale won't drop onto my arm. Centaur, yeah. Take care, Craig. I will see you soon. You know where to find me. I was actually thinking of going to the pond and going fishing tonight. It's been a while. But obviously we're doing this now, so. This is way more productive. I got two good finished, finished ones hanging up here drying. I like how they're all a little bit different. They all have a little bit of a different shape. They're not all regular and exactly the same, but they all work. And people have been telling me that <laughs> everybody who's used it says it makes opening a bottle effortless because of the weight. That weight behind it lets you just pop open the bottle. And, and Jimmy was like, yeah, it doesn't bend. It just, you just put it on and it just, bloop. It just, fall, it makes the pop top just fall off. There's no angling it. There's no leaning on it. It just goes, it goes away. So, you know, that's kind of cool. I like hearing that. I like hearing it's something I made actually works well. Yeah, exactly. It's like I know when someone's telling me, hey, it really works good, that's great. You know, I want to hear that. It means a lot, you know? It means a lot coming from people saying, like, hey, your stuff's really good. You know? Well, like he said, he's like, oh, yeah, my sister saw it, and now she wants to buy one. So, you know, I mean, that, that means something. That's kind of what I'm relying on as I'm starting off doing this, but, you know, I'm relying on that word of mouth. face in that thing. Oh, uh, let's see. Some people still watching on Twitch. If you're out there, please drop a line, guys. Say hello. Me and the wife are just here. Not much else going on, so feel free to say hello. come back <laughs> we
It's a good workout. I needed this. That's no good. You can't fight the internet. You can't fight the internet. The internet's everywhere, wisdom. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing any lag on my side, so. I hope it's not like restream issues. You know, I'd be upset if that was it, but I, uh, I don't see any issues on my side. I, whenever somebody says they're having problems, I do check, you know, I don't wanna, I never, I'm never going to say, like, well, it's definitely not me. No, I'm going to check. I mean, things happen. The internet slows down. I always like to check and make sure, you know, that there's no problems. There goes my chisel on the ground. That's my chisel on the ground song, folks. What do you think? This one's getting a little thin. That's good. Drop the newly hardened chisel on the ground. I'm sure that was good for it. Probably should just grind it a little bit and shape it. I know this isn't how a grinder works. I don't want to hear it. Oh, why are you even bothering? I was watching that game when we were out to dinner. I'm sorry if you're... Oh, wait, was it Clemson? No, no, that wasn't the game. Never mind. I'm sorry. That was the LSU game. I'm sorry. Clemson and Ohio State, that's what he said he was watching the stream of. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, it was the other game, the LSU game. That was unfortunate. That game was a disaster. Yeah, it was, it was a lot to a little in that game. Which is upsetting for a bowl game to watch a bowl game become that much of an ass-kicking. You know, that's, that's no fun. People wait all year for these bowl games. And even if it's your team kicking the ass, it's like it's... You'd rather kind of have a fun game. Like, yeah, win, but not... You know, when it's no fun and just a total ass-kicking, it's... I don't know. It's not worth the price of admission, if you ask me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was a uh, that was an ass whooping. There's no better way to define. It. I don't even know what the final was, but seeing it go 49 to 14 into the half, I, I've never seen 49 points at halftime before ever. I've seen 49 points scored in a football game, but I've never seen 49 points at halftime. That's insane, especially in a bowl game with a one and four seed. That's ridiculous. I mean, I'm not much of a football expert, let alone a college football expert. I definitely don't know what I'm talking about there, but I mean, any football game, it shouldn't be 49 to 14. Well, I guess, I mean, I guess they are. I mean, they really turned it on. I guess they enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I don't mind, I don't know. I guess it would be fun in a bowl game to watch your team just annihilate the other team. I mean, I guess that would be worth it, you know? And I think I'm at the point where I will need my wife back again. Let me just make sure this is about right. Nope, I need to shrink it some more. And it's too cold. One more half of heat and then I will need you. 63 to 28. Wow. Hope you took the overs. <laughs> okay. 
then again, it's a college game, so who knows? The overs could have been... Yeah. Hey, Chicken Knight, how are you? And Smoky Dome, welcome. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. I believe it's the first time I've seen you guys in here. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're, hope you're doing well. Hope your holidays were good. We are uh, putting the near finishing touches on a bottle opener here. Smoky Gnome, thank you so much for the follow, guys. I welcome. So here's what we're at right now. Get, get out of the way of that. So there we are for the bottle opener at the moment. Uh, my wife is going to help me put a, uh, a tab in here to help pop off some bottles. So she's going to come over here away from her crocheting in just a second. Um, so if you guys do have any questions, welcome aboard. Uh, if you have any questions about what I'm doing or why I'm doing this. Chicken Night, thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys do have questions, please feel free. Ask away. Let me know anything you guys want to know about why I'm doing what I'm doing in my basement. Um, I am more than happy to answer. <laughs> that was a 13 and a half point spread, but what was the what was the overs, the, the over-under total? That's the question. The over-under in a college game is usually a lot higher. Um, this is just a hobby. Um, I have a boring old nine to five. This lets me kind of feel creative. I work in an office all day. Uh, this lets me kind of feel like I'm doing something with my time once in a while. So I come down here, uh, I make knives, bottle openers. Well, the bottle openers are a new addition. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but the, um, I'm normally making uh, like knives and other things of the such. I'm trying to straighten it out. Back, back, back. There you go. I'm getting much better at that part. And there we go. Just like that, we have the tab of the bottle opener. Let me flatten this thing down a little bit. Because for some reason it gets a little wonky after you do that. Now we're gonna try to stamp my little logo in the back of this. I'm gonna try, hopefully, do better than the last time. Um, but yeah, um, normally I do knives. I don't have any down here at the moment. I took them to a Christmas party, show off to the family. Um, I don't need the fire. Uh, <laughs> my fire is roasting. Uh, the forge is pretty toasty right now. Thank you. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, about 20, 2300. You want to take a guess? I can put this on here. Let's see. 20, my, my guess is about 2350 right now. Okay, 2200, 2190. So 2200 in the core. 75 and a half was the overs. There you go. I think they're talking about you some people joined in well <clears throat> that's why i married her for my tongue holding skills well that too set her down real quick yep. hot going to get. Straighten it out. Get the logo in there a little bit. There we go. Scrape some of this crap off. And now we're going to heat treat this bad boy. Yeah, so 75 and a half was the over under. So, I mean, what? That's actually pretty close 62 and 20 well I mean yeah but you see yeah but the over unders is usually uh, you know that's a tight bet but but uh, yeah so this is normally just something I like to do in my spare time um, 
for all of you who are new. Um, I mean, we've, we've done two bottle openers so far today. They're going to have to be cleaned off. Uh, I just clean them off. I spray them with a uh, black grill paint to kind of give some extra, you know, heat, to, you know, uh, extra kind of resistance to them. Yeah, was, well, I mean, if you're talking about two high-scoring offenses, it does help. I mean, if you got those two offenses that have scored that many points over the course of, uh, you know, over the course of a season, 75 and a half might not be a big, you know, a big deal. Yeah, you want to grab one from the A's, please? Far left one. Uh, yeah, that's the A's. So there we go. We quench harden this thing. So um, we keep it at a nice temperature. Um, get it up nice and hot. Then quench it this way. It stays hard. Doesn't really uh, wear. The metal doesn't wear out. Also gives it some kind of some bit of uh, rust protection. I know this oil's getting hot now. It's also getting thick. 16 nothing Ohio State yet. What? When I change out, I'm not going to do it until I get my new tank. There's no point in putting it in now and having to change it again. Um, 16 nothing. I mean, that's yeah, that's reasonable. Ohio State's tough. Ohio State should be winning 16 to nothing. They're a good team, huh? I, I mean, yeah, Clemson is good, but Ohio State's Ohio State. It's the Ohio State University. Yeah. Don't even get me started on that crap when I see that stuff on uh, on a on an NFL game. When they say, oh, you know, uh, Bob Smith, the Ohio State University. No, just knock that crap off. Is that like a contract you sign when you, you know, when you become part of that school? It's like if you make it to the NFL, you have to say this on your dumb TV intro. I don't know why that bothers me, but it just does. Well, that is why I rely on you guys when I'm down here because I can't have it. I don't have a TV down here. I can't stream anything else on there because it doesn't, you know, I'd be killing my my upstream. I got a great internet connection, but I can't stream a football game and, you know, try to stream a stream at the same time. My internet will cry. Oh, yeah, that came out terrible. That logo looks like shit. I gotta put the logo up higher on the square part from now on. Instead of putting it down here, I gotta put it down here. Yeah. I think that's the issue, because when I hit it, it bends out from underneath of it. The rest of the shape's good. Uno mas! Well. Yeah, but it's not how, it's how many. How many do you win, man? I've learned this. I, I used to be a bowler and until my shoulder blew up. And when you're a bowler, you learn one important phrase. It's not how, it's how many. I don't care what that strike looked like, but that's what it looks like on the board. W is a W. So, <clears throat> you know, you can't... Uh, can't be too picky about your wins. Oklahoma State's not bad either, though. That's a good team. Hmm? Well, no. Um, Ohio State. They said. Uh, they said Ohio State beat Oklahoma State by 24-21. I haven't been following very well at all, so I guess all those other guys kind of came and went. That's cool. No, I'm cool with that. They just bounced. I can always see my information on there too. That's why I try to keep that up. <coughs> All right. Uno mas. We are two hours in. We made three. That's right on time. That's 40 minutes each. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Texas A&M, right? Okay. I thought you meant one of Ohio State's games to get into... To get into the bowl game. 
So again, uh, like I said, I don't follow college too much. So, you know, it's, um, I don't know. I can barely follow NFL football. There's so much going on in just the NFL. It's just to try to watch college on top of that with a bunch of schools that I have no affiliation with. So, and, and in Jersey slash PA, I mean, the only thing we have here is Villanova. Villanova's football program sucks ass. We have Rutgers. They they stink on high. Uh, Temple's okay, but they're never going to be they're never going to be bowl games. I mean, we got Temple. Temple plays in the in the Philadelphia Eagles Stadium, which is cool. But the problem is they're just never going to be that top tier Texas A and M Ohio State team. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's where it's big. I mean, once you go south of here, you're great. You're set up. Oh, shit. Hot metal. Forgot about that. See? I fell into the just chatting section, and now I'm just going to just chat like an idiot. those guys that decided to roll in and take off they didn't hang long but whatever uh, let's see who's viewing and where let's see what yeah they'll roll out well yeah but see Texas you got you got so many colleges to watch down there. You can go to a good college game almost any, you know, you can go and go see good college games anywhere because there's so many good Division One colleges. We just don't have that, you know? We don't, I mean, Temple's, Temple's Division One, but they're not great. You know, we just don't have it here. Villanova's got a great basketball program. Villanova has been killing it every year in, in uh, in the basketball program, but they're, I don't know. I mean, have you heard anything? I mean, Penn State's been shit ever since the scandal. So that's been no, you know, that's been no fun to watch. Wasn't the movie Longest Yard, wasn't that like, that was in Texas, supposedly, wasn't it? Yeah, like the whole movie was in Texas. That's how big, you know, that's how big football is out there, you know, even semi-pro ball. You know, you look at that, the whole thing is college, you know, they or college and prison football. That's just what it is. It's all, they love their football in Texas, man. I'm not trying to knock it. I mean, it's awesome, you know, it's, it's awesome that it's that big of a thing down there. Yeah, you know, the Eagles have been dog shit for the last God knows how many years. So it's kind of nice to actually have had a good team. Even though they're going to try to squeak their sorry asses into the playoffs somehow. Maybe.
think I'm going to need you in a minute. Yep, I think we're good on the next heat, so. You want the special forging helmet? It's not bright enough. It's gotta get really bright. I think I can even walk this thing right up to the light and it wouldn't go on. Yeah, it's still not bright enough. When we were welding down here, when Travis was down here, like, cause I wasn't looking, so he, he was blocking it, but I could still see it. The whole room was lit, like in a bright white light. I guess I need my tools, don't I? They would be helpful instead of just smashing my hand into the tool. I mean, that'd be good. No, not really. Not very strong either. router do I have? Um, <laughs> well, um, we don't actually have like a third party router. We just have the straight Comcast router. The whatever Xfinity router they have, this big square cube looking thing that looks like it probably should be in 2001 A Space Odyssey. So yeah, it's just whatever wireless router they give us by default. It's like that weird diamond shape looking weird shit. Um, but you know, the service, uh, again, the service is really good. I have zero dropped frames over two hours of live time. So as much as people complain about their service, I don't have an issue with it, so. We're gonna go over. Flip it. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Over. Too cold. I think I might have fucked this one up. Might have done it too high. We'll see. I might have put it too high. I might have put it too close to the top. I wanted to reduce the top because there's always that extra chunk at the top that I have to work out. So I thought I'd move it up, but now it's starting to look like it's way too close to the top. I think it's kind of sliding a little bit. Well, if you had the, I mean, I don't know what provider you have, but if you have Comcast, just go back to a Comcast store and go, yo, I want a new router, and they'll give you one. Really, uh, most most services will. Um, I would recommend that if if that's if that's who you have, that's what they do. I don't know, I don't know about other companies, but uh, if you have Comcast or Xfinity, whatever you want to call it, just take it over there, take the box over, and go, hey, I want a new box and they'll give you a new box.
Okay, thank you. Anything else up there to drink? Please. I'm sweating my ass off. I had a lot to drink today. Yeah, I mean, that's the best bet, I would always say. Um, no matter who your service is, um, whatever router they give you, just, uh, just tell them, yeah, you need a new one. Tell them there's an issue with it. I don't know, hit it with a goddamn hammer. Say it fell off of the stand it was on and it broke. I don't know. Just tell them you need a new one and they'll give you a new one. Obviously, they'll want to keep your business. So if you say, well, your service sucks, we're going with somebody else, and then they, go, you know, they don't want that, so they should want to give you something new to keep you happy. I would think. on that one then I mean that was something that I know people used to love doing back in the day I mean I used to be the high-tech computer guy who uh, you know made sure that I had all that top-of-the-line equipment but I'm also a firm believer of the if it ain't broke don't fix it school so seeing as their modem I mean their wireless service is great I actually did something really cool because uh, we got, we actually just got a new router, uh, the new router and modem, just a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago even, uh, maybe a week ago. And uh, when we got it, their Xfinity router does something really cool that when we reset it up, it said, hey, these are your old settings. You know, these are your old settings. You know, your old modem, your old name, your old passwords. Do you want us to just make this thing that way? So I didn't have to change this password on this computer. I didn't have to change anything. I didn't touch it. I didn't do anything. I came back downstairs the next time I was ready to stream and it was hooked up on the new Wi-Fi because the router took over all of it on its own. So, you know, I, I like being that, you know, computer guy. I liked it back in the day, but you know what? I don't have time for that crap anymore. It was fun back in the day, you know, working on computers and when the only way to know anything about computers was to be the guy that worked on them all the time, but anymore, I don't really care. You know, I love PC gaming because there's some great PC games out there compared to what's out there on other systems, but I just don't have time to deal with updates and, and drivers and all, I, I don't have time for that anymore. I'm, my gaming time is so limited. I just want to put a game in and I want to play it. Come home from work. I got two hours to play a game maybe. I want to just play that game. That's it. So, you know, I don't want to have to deal with updating it. And so, you know, that's kind of why I got away from computer gaming. Just went to the consoles. Whatever, call me lazy. I used to be old school, you know. I mean, I used to play all the old DOS games. Hell, I even have a computer upstairs, an old Windows, I think it's XP, that's just kind of chilling there waiting for me to put a monitor back on it so I can play old games from back in the day. Just so I can put these old games on that'll still run in like 98 and stuff like that, Windows 98 and XP, just so I can play these old games because they were so much fun. I can play old DOS games and shit like that. I want to play that stuff. 
I I'm a PC guy all the way. I grew up playing that stuff, and it was a lot of fun, but nowadays there's so much tech, and it's so deep, and I just, I don't have the time and patience. I'm not ashamed to say it either. I'm, you know, it's what it is. Come on, baby, why are you twisted? What the fuck? I hate it when I get my Schwartz twisted. Love that movie so much. Glad my wife's not hearing me quote Spaceballs. Ah, uh, she did hear me. God damn it. Out. Hey, there's Matt. What's he want? Do you know what time the party is next week? Knox party? You have it saved? asking about something so he might come up so he might come up on Saturday there we go that's straightened out <laughs> we've been talking about it, Jimmy. We have been talking about it. Jimmy said he's gonna have to, we're gonna have to get you a crochet stream. We've been talking about it. They do it on Twitch. We'll go shopping for some low-cut shirts, a couple push-up bras, and she'll be all good. And you know what'll piss me off? She'll be bigger than me. I'm gonna bust my ass down here every week. Ah, shit. She's, she can go on there. She'll be bigger than me in three weeks. And there's two reasons why. Exactly two reasons why. I basically needed her to help me... Uh, Help me do some of this stuff here, so I needed to find a way to keep her down here in the basement. Uh, we've made three of these already. Um, I know you said you were interested in purchasing one, so these three are all ready. They need to basically be painted. Uh, they're all hardened, ready to rock and roll. So um, basically need to just um, paint them up, put some clear coat on them, uh, and they'll be ready to go. So. If you are interested in purchasing one, that's why I'm making some, because I want to sell some. So, 20 bucks sounds fair, I think. You said it's the best bottle opener you've ever used, so 20 bucks for the best bottle opener you've ever used ain't too bad of a deal, so.
mean, I don't see why we can't get her crochet stream. I think we should actually do it. Uh, I think it would be pretty cool, especially with a lot of the stuff she does. I don't know if you've ever seen this one. I don't know if you're still watching, but she has made this guy. Can't really see the jimmies on him because the light's so goddamn bright. There we go. But we got this little guy. Uh, she likes doing this sort of stuff, and I think this would be an awesome thing for her to start streaming, and I think it would be a really cool outlet because it would get a place for her to sell her stuff. So, yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely considering it. For sure. And even if she doesn't get big, at least it's free advertising while you do it. It's better than relying on word of mouth. I mean, like, like I like doing that with you. You're going to, you know, if you want to buy one for someone, that's great. But, um, you know, I can't rely on all of my sales to be that way. So it's, you know, that's why I like having this, you know, Twitch and YouTube outlet, Facebook. Well, Facebook's already my friends. They already know what I do, but... I hope they do. Some of them pay attention to my shit. Alright, I'm going to flatten on the next heat and then uh, we'll be ready to do the other stuff. <laughs> well, I'm glad it does. Um, you know, I, I mean, I have them. They're ready. So, whenever, you know, whenever I can catch you for it, I'll give it to you. I don't want to accept payment until I, you know, until I put it in your hands. Uh, I don't like doing that, so I want to make sure that you have it before anybody pays me. I don't like anybody paying me ahead of time because not that I'm going to, you know, rip anybody off, but then if we, you know, we get busy, I forget to give it to you, and then I feel shitty because I forgot to give it to somebody. I don't, yeah, I just don't like to roll like that. So, um, so yeah, whenever we get a time to catch up, honestly, next weekend looks great. I could come down to Vineland. Next weekend looks like it's going to be like 52 again. So I just checked the weather today. I was like, oh, man, again, another 52. So might be another good day to come down to Vineland. I can, we can go check that course out, have some fun, throw some discs, get some people involved. I'm all about it. Oh, this one's coming out really nice. Actually, I really like this one got a really that's got a really nice shape on it yeah that's really good some of these I just fluke so they look really good all right so now I need the wifey so put your shit down get on over here I have three special tools for this job well two special tools for this one is my maker's mark which I can put on anything really but Yeah, we're doing good. It's two hours, 25 minutes. We've been doing pretty good time. So having her help me here has been great because before I was really struggling to get um, to get this done quickly because I had to keep trying to change shit down. I already got it. That's what you hear me dinging on the anvil. Yeah, oh, dude, absolutely. We'll we'll work it out. And if you know if next Saturday works, I'll get it to you. Um, you know. I'm, I'm glad someone will enjoy them. You know, that's how I, I spread my stuff. I got to find a, a, well, there is a railroad theme bar right near me. So I may have to take it to said railroad theme bar and go like, yo, you guys want to buy railroad spike bottle openers for your bartenders? Because that would be freaking awesome. Are you ready? The rail, right over on, uh, yeah, like a block from our house, basically. Because, yeah, this is the flat part, so I need to keep it down here. Getting really good at this part. So there we go. We got the little nub in there. That actually, this one looks really good. This one's got a really nice shape to it. Lip, nice, nice lip on there. This part was tricky at first, like figuring out how to do this part and do it right. But now I've gotten really pretty comfortable with it. I'm gonna set this one. We're gonna set it like back here. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm trying to straighten it. I 
I love how this this multi stream is working. Someone's watching on Facebook, they can chat with me. Someone's, yeah, I, I love it. It's it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I know. I realized it's not. Yeah. Right. We can clean it all up. This isn't leaking. It's seeping. Yeah. So if you grab the side of it, you can feel it. So. Yeah. So if you are out there watching the stream, if you're still hanging around, if you're out there, please say hello. Uh, we are wrapping up on our fourth bottle stopper of the night. So if you are out there joining me, please feel free to say hello, guys. Uh, we are wrapping this one up. This is going to be our fourth and final one for the evening. We've been at this for two and a half hours. I can't ask my wife to stay down here for too much longer or she'll kill me. Even though she did get to crochet while she was down here. So, we got lots of bottle stoppers. They are all for sale. Three tonight, yes. All right, you ready? Huh? Yeah, well, because I hammered it on the back part. Here we go. Put the tongs as close to the edge. Yep, that's perfect. Better. Perfect. Yeah, that came out really good. Take a look at that. You can see it on an angle like that. Oh, yeah, that one's good. Yeah. So I just got to put the the logo in a different place. I kind of screwed that up a little bit. But live and learn, guys. It's... Yep. That's what I realize now. Yeah, because there's nothing behind it, so it pushes aside. Straighten everything out a little bit. Looks like a Stanley Cup. All right, so let's get the end going. We'll get it heat treated. So there you go, guys. If you are out there watching, I did give one of these to Jimmy for Christmas. Jimmy, who commented right there. And uh, he says it's the best bottle opener he's ever used. So I don't think he's just saying that to be nice. Or at least I hope not. <laughs> I hope it's a fair, honest testament to how good it worked. But they're hardened steel, they're heavy. That extra weight of the of the um, the extra weight of the spike behind the head. Um, I, I gave one to my my uncle as well, and he said as soon as you put it on a bottle, it just that weight just it carries it over and the bottle just opens. It's like it's not like it's not even a pop top. There's no work. Just bloop, open. It doesn't bend. It doesn't move. It just straight up just moves the stuff. So they're great bottle openers. They are for sale for twenty bucks. I'll ship them out to you if you're interested, all that good stuff. So, just let me know if you want one. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's a fact with them. That's the way they do it. They, uh, that weight opens it up real nice. And uh, it does kick. There we go, nice hardened steel. No, I'm good. Oh, you want to? No, I'm saying go ahead, yeah. Just grab the top. Get them lower, yeah. Well, the propane tank's getting a little cold, so. So my propane tank is getting chilly. Um, so for those of you who know anything about fluid dynamics, um, as propane changes from a liquid to a gas, as it changes state, it gets very cold. Uh, same as CO2 in a paintball tank uh, when you're out playing uh, paintball and you have a CO2 tank and you're out there and all of a sudden your CO2 tank gets really cold um, like this right now is 19.2 degrees Fahrenheit uh, is the side of my propane tank which is uh, about a foot and a half away from my forge so if I do the backside 
17 degrees, folks. So the propane, as it changes from a liquid to a gas, gets very cold, and that limits its ability to expand as well. So it kind of gives me borrowed time to actually work. So I can't work for too long in a closed environment without blowing air over the propane tank, um, because otherwise, yeah, it'll get too cold, uh, and the propane will stop turning from a liquid into a gas. Uh, it'll stay cold, it'll stay liquid, and uh, it limits my ability to get propane, uh, especially at high pressure, because there is a high pressure regulator on here. Uh, if you use a regular gas grill rope um, regulator, like you would have, it's low pressure, and it does not uh, actually send out enough propane to get a good fire. You get a nice little, whoa, look at that little little fire. It's like It just makes like a little fire, hmm? Yeah, it makes just, well, I mean, it goes, that's going to multiple, like, ports, but it's not coming out like, it, it's, it comes out as just like, oh, look at this little bit of fire, and it just looks like a little candle. Um, well, a bigger candle, maybe, but a candle. Okay, that's got to be cold. Cool it off the rest of the way in the water. So there we go. Four bottle openers. I got to keep saying bottle openers. I'm really fighting saying bottle openers. I've made too many bottle stoppers in my time, so, which are also upstairs and for sale. <laughs> if you know a, if you know a wino who likes, likes high class bottle openers and things like that, I do make those. I make them on my, uh, on my lathe back there. I, whatever. I'm retarded. Yeah, see, look, that cleans that up real nice. It gets a nice steel under there. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to do with all of them. I'm just going to take them, rub them down to bare steel like this mm -hmm. to put the Rust-Oleum on. And that'll give me a nice... Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the logo looks really good. And so you get a nice, nice silvery look. I got my logo imprinted in the middle there, which is that logo, which is kind of cool to put it on my stuff. It looks like my In Your Head logo. It's not perfect, but it's, it's mine. And I, I'm pretty proud of the fact that I made it. So, so there you go, hardened steel. Is it hardened steel? Let's ask the file. File, is this hardened steel? You can hear that sound. Yes, sir, it is. That is hardened steel. So we have four hardened railroad spike bottle openers. I'm going to keep, I got to slow down when I say bottle whatever because I'm so used to saying bottle stoppers because I've been making bottle stoppers a hell of a lot longer. So there you go, folks. Thank you all for joining me on the stream. Thank you, Wisdom, for hanging around. Um, it's been a good stream. It's nice getting to make some stuff for you guys. Uh, hoping to have a Monday stream and hopefully even a New Year's Eve stream. So if I could do a New Year's Eve stream, that would be great. Hang this on here to dry. We got four new ones. Five for sale shortly. So, yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, everybody. If you are still out there hanging or if you are watching this video, if you are checking it out, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe uh, to whatever your preferred medium is, whether you're watching this on Twitch or YouTube or anywhere. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Give it a like. All that good stuff, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to bring you content at least twice a week. Um, on all sorts of venues and channels and everything. So I want to bring it out to you guys. So please come on back. Make sure you're checking it out. We're going to make new stuff all the time. Thank you guys so much. Have yourselves a good night, and I'll see you again real soon.